We're shooting a cooking video. Today we're making hummus. Um, to be completely honest with you, I've always been a little scared to make hummus because I know there's a couple ingredients in it that I don't know what they are. Like tahini or something like that. Anyway, we're gonna make my kind of hummus where I don't put ingredients I don't know what it is in. I'm gonna show you how fucking easy it is. Um, so in my little ebook that I'm putting out, uh, one of the biggest things you're gonna notice I'm doing is mixing together textures. Um, people don't, I, I think that's something that like you, you don't even realize a lot of time is on your plate or whatever you're eating should have multiple textures. That's what makes eating exciting. Um, you should have something soft, you should have something crunchy, you should have something like that has some like girth to it. And I think uh, it's pretty easy to accomplish that when eating meat and you know mashed potatoes and then whatever else. Um, but I think in the vegan world, it's even easier because uh, there's so many exciting ingredients. So today we're gonna make, I'm pretty much doing my food prep for the week. And one of the things I make is hummus. Um, and I sort of add a little bit to every meal just to, to add that extra texture in. Um, so if I make, I don't fucking know if I make like a salad or if I make, uh, if I make like, like say tempeh and sweet potatoes, I'll just do a, a little extra, uh, hummus based on what kind of hummus I feel like adding to that. So what we're going to start with, we're going to start with your base. Um, which I'm gonna make normal generic hummus. Um, I mean my version, so I'm cutting some things out, throwing some extra things in. We're gonna make normal generic hummus, and then because we're food prepping, so we're trying to make a bunch of at, at one time, I'm gonna make like a white bean hummus, and then I'll probably make like a jalapeno and tomato hummus, and then we'll make a black bean hummus, and then we'll finish it off with like a beet hummus, just to sort of like round out. I like making four to five different like flavors of hummus. And then uh, throughout the week, that's why it keeps it exciting. It's not always just the same one. And it's really easy to like sort of switch back and forth and make five different kinds at once without cleaning everything out. You're, it's sort of all the same ingredients. Um, but yeah, we're about to get started. What should we start with? Let's start. So whenever I cook, no matter when it is, I always start with onion. I don't think there's one thing I make except for cereal. Uh, that doesn't start with onion. So we'll start with onion um, just because, I don't know, onions belong in everything. So I'm not too worried about my, um, my hummus being like really, really smooth. Like I know a lot of people like that, but I don't mind if there's like little bits of onion. So a lot of people will cook down onion first. Um, and a lot of people use sharp fucking knives. Apparently, I use dull knives, but um, let's see if this knife. So when you live with a spouse that doesn't understand knives, sometimes they, they end up bent and uh, it'll make your head explode. Um, but we're going to work through it. We're not going to lose our temper. We're not going to kill anyone. We're not going to get divorce papers, we're gonna just keep fucking cooking. Because the good thing is we have multiple knives. So, when we're starting with the onion, because everything's gonna go in a, uh, generally go in, it's not a blender, like a food processor, I guess it's called. Everything's gonna go in a food processor, so I just try to make it as small as possible so that we don't like completely fucking rock my food processor to start. Um, so, I'm just gonna cut up a lot of onion. We're not gonna use it all in the first one. All right, cool. We got onion. What else do we need? Ooh, all right, so the main ingredient in hummus, standard hummus, is chickpeas or garbanzo beans, if you wanna be fancy. Uh, I just call them chickpeas, garbanzo beans. So a lot of people, when they make this, they use the sauce that comes in here um, I don't, if I want, if I want the, to loosen up a little bit, I'm just gonna add more water. Um, with this diet, I'm trying to only eat food that I understand. So if I don't recognize the food or if there's like an extra weird sauce that I'm not sure what's in it, like this, like I think it says, I think it says it's just in water. Oh wait, 
it's in water, salt, calcium, something, uh, meta -biza So I dumped it all out because I don't want much of that shit. And next time what I'll probably do is I'll probably buy whole beans and soak them, but this is so much faster. All right, so we're gonna see how fucking simple this is, right? So food processor, these things are pretty cheap. Um, I used to have a really good one. I have no idea where it went. And now I just have this one made by Ninja. Um, I don't know. It's this like super sharp blade that'll cut all your fingers off. So what I'm gonna do, how fucking simple it is. We're gonna put one of those in there. This is, this is, is this good for measuring? Like, we're gonna throw some garlic in, uh, maybe a tablespoon. Um, we're gonna throw a little bit of olive oil in, not too much because you know, we're gonna throw a little bit of sesame oil in, just a little bit. I would like to just use sesame seeds, but I don't have any because you know, who the fuck has sesame seeds sitting around? A little bit of chili powder. Now it's gonna tell you to like mix this all up in different, I don't, I don't know how, like how much chili powder is that? Do you, do you know? It's just like a good amount of chili powder. Not, not a, too much. We're gonna do some paprika. Oh, that seems like enough. I like mustard. Dana hates mustard. Um, so we just won't tell Dana that there's mustard in there, right? Keep that our little secret. Next, we're gonna do uh, lemon, not too much lemon. And if the seeds fall in, I don't care because I'll just eat the seeds. So like, just a little bit of lemon. All right, what else do we need? Oh, our magical onions that we chopped earlier. We're gonna throw some of them in there. Actually threw a lot of those in there. Let me think. I think that's it, man. I think we're ready to rock. So, this is our first batch. Now. All right, as you can see, it's a fucking mess. So we need to add some water. It's the best way to add water. So it's gonna tell you to add a bunch of other like oils and everything like that. But for everyone that's like really, really worried about fat, this is already a little high in fat. Um, I forget the number breakdown, but if we do the math to, oh, it's not that bad in fat. Carbohydrates is what you're worried about. Anyway, I'm still not trying to consume too many oils because by my diet math, like I don't know how you make oil. Like I don't know how you make sesame oil. I don't know, so I'm just not gonna eat it. There we fucking go. close. You know what we didn't do? We didn't do salt and pepper. I don't watch my sodium. So, you know, deal with it. Some of you people out there are probably like, what's the sodium content? I don't fucking know. The one thing that I found out about sodium is as long as you maintain like consistent sodium levels, it doesn't fucking matter. In my opinion, I'm probably wrong, but it doesn't matter to me. All right, you think this is gonna taste good or bad? Probably good. It's a little loosey-goosey. I added, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Um, we're gonna do that. Because it's a little loose. I added too much water.
good. So, it's not, it's gonna taste a lot, I think cleaner would be the word, than some of the, the hummuses that you buy like off the shelf. Um, it tastes cleaner because it is cleaner. We're trying to limit the amount of weird shit in it. So, to show you guys how easy it is to make a bunch of different kinds, this is how I do it. Pretty easy, right? Watch. So, we're gonna get rid of this hummus. I'm gonna get this out of here. Not all of it, we're not gonna do all of it. We're gonna do that much, right? Now we sort of still have like a base. So, what I'm gonna do with this is, next I'll grab, so just random white beans with less sodium because we're, you know, very concerned about sodium intake. So, that's why like making these like protein, it's, it's like a protein sauce. That's why I'm making these protein sauces or sort of like making your own condiments at the beginning of the week. One, I'm knowing exactly what's going in them. Two, it's so fucking easy because like you're not cleaning anything out. You're just like more or less adding, oh Jesus. You're more or less adding like another can of beans, blending it up and it's a different flavor. So this one, we're gonna do white beans. And in the white beans, we're gonna add, fuck it, right? We'll add jalapenos in the white beans. All right. So, once again, I'm never really that worried about the seeds, but I'll try to impress you guys by not having them in everything. All right, so, I'm gonna throw this whole big motherfucker in. Um, you don't have to obviously do this. Uh, I just like things really spicy. And if I'm making like another sauce, I wanna have one really spicy and one not as spicy. So, all right, we fucking fucked that all up. I'm gonna throw all this in there. It's gonna be great. Look at that. I'm gonna wash my hands so I don't, or at least rinse my hands off. I'm still gonna burn my eyes out, I, I fucking know it. At some point in time today. All right, here we go. This one looks good. I need more salt. Don't judge me, you motherfuckers. And the jalapenos, uh, they're strong right now, but they're gonna get stronger um, while it sits. So like, it might not be too strong right now. A little more chili powder. It might not be too strong right now, but like a day from now, that bitch is gonna heat up a little bit. All right, so, easy, right? I wanna get like a live studio audio next. So that they can like respond and clap and shit. All right, so, so we got one, we got regular hummus. Now we got white bean hummus with jalapenos. Now once again, I like my black beans sort of spicy. So I'm gonna leave, once again, I'm leaving like our base in there. Here's our second kind. That looks a lot like our first kind, and it's gonna surprise somebody when they try it. All right, Sec third one. We're gonna do black beans. Really simple. Now this black bean one, this one will taste like the most drastically different, in my opinion. Uh, I'm gonna drop some more onions in the black bean one. And then like some of the things that we fucked up and used up on all the other ones, like the garlic, we'll throw more garlic in there. Um, Fuck it, right? Mustard, we'll just throw some more mustard in there. This is the end of my mustard. Um, what else we got? Probably need a little more salt, a little more pepper. Salt, pepper, boom. Uh, that's it, man. Easy, now we're gonna do more chili powder. Always, when in doubt, add more chili powder. Remember that I taught you that. 
You could... Something like the chili powder or the paprika, uh, you don't need. Uh, I think you need garlic, you need onion, uh, you don't even really need the lemon. Um, like realistically, you can just do like a little bit of oil, this, and even put some other vegetables in there. So the black bean tastes fucking banging. Um, I feel like the black bean always tastes a little bit better. Um, all right, we got one more. So there's our black bean one. I'm gonna try to get a lot more of the black bean out than the other ones, but I still refuse to clean out my thing because that would take too long, right? So look at that. We have our three kinds. All right, the last one, throw some more onions in. We'll throw some more fucking garlic in. What was I making this kind of time? Ooh, I know what I was making. I've never made this kind before. I've never made it before. All right, we're gonna go back to, uh, we're actually gonna do the white beans. Um, Cause the white beans are actually lower in fat and they did blend up pretty nice. So we're gonna go white beans. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do all our same ingredients. We're gonna do the chili powder, a little bit of chili powder. We're gonna do a little bit of paprika. Um, we're gonna do salt and pepper. Not too much salt. A little heavier in the pepper. All right, this time, if you guys know me, you know I love fucking beets. Beets are like my shit. Like, I, I love them. So, it's still good. This time, because you remember like why we're making this is because I want it, it's gonna be like accents added to all my meals. I mean, you can do a meal, and I think at the end of this, like I'll show you a quick meal that I do, but we're prepping this as like our excitement sauce. Now, I know what a lot of people are gonna say if they even made it this far in the video, they're gonna say, you're making meal prep hard, or like, my chicken and rice is easier than this. And I think it all goes back to, I'm gonna say this in every single fucking video. Why do you lift weights? Why do you meal prep? I think if we're all, like, why do people go to the gym? Not many people go to be healthy, because they don't fucking care. And we can, I think we can be honest about that. The people that do wanna be healthy should be eating and knowing what they're cooking and, and, and eating and consuming, if you wanna be healthy. So I think the real reason that people go is because they want people to see them, right? You want to impress other people. Men wanna lure in women and convince them to take off their clothes. Uh, women wanna get their butt bigger and look fucking sexy and all that shit. That's what you wanna do. And I can tell you right now, if you learn how to cook and you build up this skill set and the gym skill set, you'll accomplish that. Or you can be a big dumb idiot who can't fucking cook and just, you know, have abs. All right, here we go. I've never done the beat one before. It looks exciting. I want it to be like really beady. It's really good, but it's not beaty enough. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna add in the rest of these motherfuckers. Right? All right, we'll do these guys up. That one looks fucking good. All right, 
This is my last one. We're not doing any more after this, so. See, look how annoying this is to like clean. Ugh. Yo, the beat one looks exciting as fuck, man. And if you don't like beats, um, I mean, you can throw anything in. There's no rules. That's the cool thing is there's no rules. It just makes life a little bit more exciting. So, we have our black bean. We have our beet. Shit, white, a white bean and jalapeno. So this one's a little spicy. If we cared, we'd label it, but we're not going to. And this is our normal one. So, um, one thing that I do, because I like to feel a little fancy, if you have any extra onions, you can like, you know, obviously garnish with onions if you're trying to impress somebody. Because um, I don't mind it like a little chunky. I like scallions, I fucking love scallions. I think they're like super underrated. Um, I think they add like the perfect amount of like fresh green and everything without like doing anything too crazy. So, uh, how I like to cut my scallions. What's this called? What's it called? Shift nod? Is that what it's called? You don't know. I don't know either. It's I cut them on a bias. I feel fancier. So, um, I'll cut these on a, like like long ways, and I feel really fucking fancy. And I think that they're like a great garnish. They have right the, the, like the right amount of onion taste to them. Um, I don't know, I think they're fucking dope. So you throw a little of those on there. And now we're looking like we're like fucking professionals, right? A little bit extra, and this was like fucking 98 cents. And you don't need to use the whole thing like I just did like a fucking dumb idiot. But just a little bit, okay, with like a little more paprika powder because we care a little bit, right? We want to care like, we want to care what our food looks like. We want to like be attracted to our food. It's the same thing. Like when you live with a girl, like if she never tries, that sucks, right? You want her every once in a while to come out in like a nightgown where you're like, oh damn. And you got to do the same shit with your food. Like you want to fuck your food. You want to be attracted to your food. You don't want to eat fucking boring food. So that's my hummus. What do you think? Looks pretty good, bro. All right, thanks, man. All right, we're gonna do, uh, we'll do one here. We'll do a quick hummus meal. Show you how versatile this is, right? I got a mess, ignore my mess. All right, so we'll do this. Simple ingredients. A lot of times when I break my fast, this will be my first meal. So I try to break my fast. I do a, a 16 hour fast and I break it like really light with light food. Um, so this will be, I'll sort of show you guys how I do that. So tomato, tomato, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, geez, man. I like using my little knife. I used to always use really big chef knives and now I just use small ones because it makes me feel like, and I feel like a little surgeon. Before, you know, I always wanted to get bigger and be like, look, I get a 10 inch fucking blade and I we don't need all this. So what I'm doing is I'm making like a quick, just little salad. Um, nothing crazy, but just to show you guys, like, for me, this is really good to break my fast with. I really, really like it. It makes me feel, ooh, we can use our scallions in it. Look at that. Okay, fucking hammer this guy out real quick. I feel like when I, have, when I cut things in front of you guys, I have to cut them, like, super fast because I feel like you guys don't want to, like, sit around and watch me cut things. All right. So, once again, this is probably... I don't know, this might even be like two servings here. But, simple salad. Um, all right, look at that. It's a simple, sexy little salad, right? Nice and light. There's not too many calories going on there, not too much like weird shit. Um, I like to think when I break my fast, like I like to break it light, and I wanna give my body something that it can like digest really easy and it doesn't have, it doesn't fight with, you know what I mean? Like it's not this big fucking giant meal of French fries where I get super tired. So the cool thing about this is, um, what I'll do is like this much. And then my first meal, 
what I'll do is I'll pick, I'll pick a hummus and just do this. And then what I'll take with me for my first meal, I'll do more than that because I'm like a growing boy. And then I'll just mix it up like this. And that's how I break my fast. That is fucking good. Like that is, after you've done that whole like dot or fasting for 16 hours and you break your fast with that, you feel really good about yourself. It feels sexy because it's all fresh ingredients. I don't know, that's what we're trying to do, right? Feel sexy? Anyway, that's me with hummus. This is my first cooking video ever. I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's bad. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I'm gonna do a lot more of these. Fucking deal with it. See you guys.